DC residents have many public school options available through the My School DC application and Common Lottery. The purpose of this video is to show you how the Common Lottery works and how students receive their school placements. What information do we use to match students to schools? Each parent's list of school choices ranked in the order they prefer. The number of seats available at each school in each grade level. Each school's lottery preferences and each student's random lottery number and lottery preference at their selected schools. Schools' lottery preferences might include things like siblings of current students or priority for pre-K children who live in the school's boundary. Applicants will be considered in order of lottery preference group if there are more applicants than available seats. Lottery preference order can vary by school. You can learn about the lottery preferences each school offers by visiting any school's profile on myschooldc.org. To better understand what this means, let's start with an example. Let's imagine a city with only one school. We'll call it Nats School. Nats School gives priority to applicants who reside within its boundary and then to siblings of current students. Nats School has 25 seats in first grade. 15 seats are filled by returning students, so there are 10 seats available for new students. Let's now imagine that 15 families have applied to attend Nats School. We start by giving each applicant a random lottery number. Next, we group the applicants by Nats School's lottery preference group. These three applicants are siblings of current students at Nats School who also happen to live in the school's boundary, so they are in the first priority group. These three applicants do not have siblings attending Nats School, but they do live in the school's boundary. They are in the second priority group. These two applicants are siblings of current students who do not live in the school's boundary, so they are in priority group three. The remaining do not have siblings attending that school, nor do they live in the school's boundary. They are in the final group. Now, we can line up each student within their lottery preference group in order of his or her random number. Now we know in what order to place students at Nat's school. 15 seats are already filled by returning students. Nat's school has 10 remaining seats available, so we offer a seat to the first 10 applicants in line. All of the students in Lottery Preference Groups 1, 2, and 3 receive a match at Nat's school because there are only 8 of them and there are 10 seats available. The first two applicants in the final group receive a match into the two remaining seats. For only this group, it was the applicant's random lottery number that determined who would get the seat. All 10 seats at Nat School are filled. No more placements are made at this school. The remaining five students are waitlisted at Nat School in the order of their random lottery numbers. Now let's look at an example that is more similar to what actually happens here in the District of Columbia, where there are many schools to choose from and where families can list up to 12 schools on their My School DC application. We'll look at three schools, each with five open seats in Pre-K-3. Let's learn a little bit about each school. Nat School gives priority to applicants who reside in the school's boundary and then to siblings. Wizard School gives priority to applicants who reside in the school's boundary and then to siblings. Capitals School gives priority to siblings only. In this example, each applicant selects three schools on their application. So let's take a look at our applicants. As we can see, each school has applicants, and just like in our first example, they're all lined up in order based on their lottery preference group and their random lottery number. The difference in this example is that applicants are lined up in front of each school they applied to, not just one. Let's look at one applicant to see what this means. Kayla is entering pre-K-3. She lives in the boundary of Nat's school and has a sibling who attends Wizard School. She was assigned a random lottery number of 16. She applied to Nat's school as her first choice, Wizard School as her second choice, and Capital School as her third choice. As you can see, Kayla is in a different place in line in front of each school she applied to, 
This is because she has a different lottery preference for each school. You can also see that her random lottery number is always the same. Once assigned, the random lottery number does not change. For Nat's school, she is sixth in line and part of lottery preference group one in boundary. For Wizard School, she is fourth in line and part of Lottery Preference Group 2, Sibling Attending. For Capital School, she is eighth in line and in the last Lottery Preference Group. Remember, this school only gives priority to siblings of students that are currently enrolled and she does not have a sibling attending this school. Now that we know where Kayla is in each line, we can find out what school she's placed at by looking at the way she ranked those schools on her application. First, we try to assign her to her first choice. Let's see what happens. Kayla is sixth in line. Nat's school has five available seats. If the first five applicants standing in line are offered a seat at Nat's school, there is no seat available for Kayla. But no placements are final until everybody has received their highest ranked school possible based on how they ranked their schools on the My School DC application, their lottery preferences, and their random lottery number. Now let's try to place Kayla at her second choice, Wizard School. Kayla is in the second lottery preference group, Sibling Attending, and is fourth in line. Wizard School has five available seats. This means we can place Kayla at Wizard School, her second choice school. To understand how Kayla might still get a seat at Nat School, let's imagine the following scenario. There are five applicants ahead of her in line at Nat School, her first choice. In order for Kayla to get a seat at Nat School, we would need one of the students currently assigned to receive a placement at a school they prefer, opening another available seat. Malik applied to Nat School and was matched. However, Malik also applied to Capital School next year and ranked it higher than Nat School. Because Malik received a match at Capital School, he comes out of the line for Nat School. Since Malik is not holding a space at Nat School, Kayla can be assigned to her first choice school. Kayla no longer holds a seat at Wizard School and is also removed from the waitlist of Capital School because students are removed from waitlists of schools they ranked lower than the schools to which they are matched or enrolled. This allows families who truly prefer Wizard School and Capital School to move up on those waitlists. Now that you understand how the lottery works, let's talk about waitlists. Students' waitlist positions are determined by preference group and random lottery number, with two exceptions for eligibility and sibling reasons. For example, if a selective high school or program finds a student ineligible, the student will not be waitlisted regardless of how they ranked the school. Also, in the case of multiple siblings entering the lottery and applying to the same schools, a student who receives a match in the lottery will be placed on the waitlist for any school their sibling is matched to, even if the school is ranked below where they are matched. After lottery results are released, schools may have additional spaces available for students. If you're offered a seat off of a waitlist and want to enroll at that school, you will be removed from waitlists of schools you prefer less, but you will be allowed to stay on the waitlists of schools you prefer more. Let's look at an example. Jason ranked Nat School first, Wizard School second, and Capital School third, and was not matched with any of them. Jason is now on all three schools' waitlists. Wizard School has a space available and Jason is first on the waitlist, so they offer him the space and he enrolls. Because Jason ranked Capital School below Wizard School on his application, he is removed from Capital's waitlist. He remains on Nat School's waitlist because he ranked it higher on his application than Wizard School. Jason ranked Nat School first, Wizard School second, and Capital School third, and was not matched with any of them. Jason is now on all three schools' waitlists. Wizard School has a space available and Jason is first on the waitlist, so they offer him the space and he enrolls. Because Jason ranked Capital School below Wizard School on his application, he is removed from Capital's waitlist. He remains on Nat School's waitlist because he ranked it higher on his application than Wizard School. As you apply, keep in mind these key points about how the My School DC Common Lottery works. 
You should list your choices in the true order you prefer them. Even if you are applying to very high demand schools, the more choices you list, the better chance you have of getting a match to a school through the lottery. However, you should only list schools you want to send your child to. You will only remain on the wait lists of schools you ranked higher on your My School DC application than the school you were matched to. This is why it's important to rank your schools in your true preferred order. And remember, actually enrolling at the school you were matched with will not remove you from those wait lists. Schools do not pick their students. Rather, placement happens through a computer program based on the school's lottery preference order and your random lottery number, starting with the school you ranked first. The exception is the DCPS Selective High Schools and Programs. Those schools determine the order that students are matched and waitlisted, instead of assigning a random lottery number. While we cannot promise that you will receive a match at your number one choice, we can promise you that you were considered fairly and that we assigned you to your highest ranked school with a seat available. To learn more, visit www.myschooldc.org. Contact the My School DC hotline at 202-888-6336 or send us an email to info.myschooldc at dc.gov.